you, Dr. Paul Bosch. He is, uh, besides being the director, he's young, dynamic, and open-minded personality. Dr. Jason Keith Fernandez, a renowned writer, anthropologist, and I thank you very much for the deep analysis that you have done of my book. And I hope I can do something better if I try next time another book. Ms. Lucette Bujinka, she's a committed teacher, counselor at the Law Institute, and above all, my true friend, true friend, for many, many years. Good evening, dear friends and family. I'm so delighted to have such a well-known audience present today. Long back, I can't remember when, I had read about the maxim of a Chinese sage. He said, for a human being to be inclusive, complete, he needs to fulfill three things. Plant a tree, we have planted a forest. Have a child, we have four. And write a book. So here I am, a complete human being, according to the Chinese dictum. The book, the forest, and the children. <laughs> My book, Peace and, and for Fest of Goma, the flavor of a unique culture, has 21 chapters. Each chapter describes a festival which is enriched with colored photos. It was a very, very arduous work of more than three or four years participating in the festival, interviewing the people, photographing. Many of the photographs are by professionals because I am not a professional photographer. Researching, writing, and finally, publishing. I will quote from my book a part of a poem in Kokani of our renowned Goan poet, Bhattipap Borka, which is a free translation. If in my reincarnation the gods asked me to choose a place where I could be born again, I would choose Goa. It has such natural beauty which helps to perfect the human spirit with creativity and spirituality. End of the quote. And this is the reason why I have chosen to write about Goa its unique festivals, unpaired. No doubt, every state in India has its own festivals depending on their culture and their traditions. But ours, Goans, are unique because we are a synthesis of many cultures. The indigenous Goan communities for centuries have given great value to the environment, be it water, soil, trees, mud, and this has led them to celebrate festivals like the Hani at Maina Kundori, where water conservation is the theme. They build dikes or manas and so create a land which is going to be used to practice cultivation. What do they use to build these manas? Chikal or mud, natural items, branches of trees or coconut palms, and put in stone water for the cultivation of paddy. These systems of water management of our indigenous people are a tribute to their knowledge of conservation of water. Chikakal and Marcella in Ponda commemorates our attachment with the earth. The villagers, they have no distinction. You are old, you are young, no distinction. They coat their bodies with the oil from the lamp of the temple and throw themselves in the chikal. When I saw that, my God, I said, hey, everybody is, is throwing in the chikal, in the wet mud, in the patio of Devaki Krishna temple in Marcel. This festival affirms our gratitude to the connection that we have to our terra, our mud of our goal. Then we have festivals like the Toshanche Fest, Tisranche, Rosanche, Konsanche, where we recognize these elements of nature like the toshi, the cucumber, the distil, the clams, 
the raw sun, the marigolds, the corn sun, the first penny. And what do we do with these elements of nature? By celebrating, we sanctify them and celebrate the feasts. Because these celebrations show our respect to all forms of life. This is the foundation of our Indian culture. Before I go further, I would like to inform you about a being which is very much distinctly connected to nature. I have not spoken about it in any of my chapters. The Dyaosar. You must have heard about Dyaosar Asom Ambo, Dyaosar Asom Chins, Dyaosar Asom Manas, Dyaosar Asom Tapo. You must have heard it. You are living in the villages. I don't know how much we living in cities know about this. I am sure this was, whether Dyaosar existed or not, I don't know. I am not sure. But this was a practice of preserving our trees, the habitat of insects, birds, butterflies, reptiles, and also of stopping soil erosion. Nobody dared to go near those places where they knew that they also lived. I don't know whether they lived or not. But for generations, we have inherited forests, clean waters, unpolluted, our rivers, I really hope that the outside lives today in our forests, in our rivers, and stops what is happening in Goa today. Further, I have dealt with festivals of historical background, like the Busar at Shandong, the Sotrio at Kokoli, the Feast of Our Lady of Old School, and the celebrations of Epiphany, which have its historical and religious background. Not much has been written about the Musar and Shandor. I depended on my participation in the festival, which is celebrated on Monday of Carnival. It is always late at night. In interviewing the local people and reading Zenaida's Buenas, the Musar of Shandor, the dance of Christian Shafias. Chandrapur was the capital of Kadamba Kingdom, 1104-1141, and that time there were constant warfares. This conflicting situation, the warfare between the other kingdoms and the Kadambas, had a very great impact on the life of the Shardwas or Shatriyas. Because they say, even today, they, I have relatives in Shandor, they say we are descendants of Kadamba kings. Musar is a rice pounding stick. It's made of bamboo. It is seven feet long and at the end it has hawk bells. Now, in the past, the women used this musar to pound rice at home. But in the dance, it is used by men folk to pound or destroy the enemies. The Musar Care is an exhibition of the history of Shandor in dance form and it should be preserved. Then we have the festival of Sondrios, Umbrellas. It holds sway over both major communities of Kokoli, the Christians and the Hindus. Besides the historical trail of the festival, which I'm not going to deal here, I would like to state that this festival is deeply rooted in the worship of Hindu goddess Shantadurga. She is seen as the goddess of power, protection, healer of diseases, savior of the poor by both the communities, the Christians and the Hindus. Therefore, the festival in the month of February or March is a landmark in the Hindu calendar in Kukuri. At Surlatai, a village in Pishori, a matchless festival is celebrated as one at one of the oldest mosques of Goa, built by Adil Shah around 1535. It is a celebration where the Muslims and the Hindus, I repeat, Muslims and the Hindus, display such communal, communal harmony. It is celebrated in March during Shikmong festival. Therefore, I say our festivals are unique, not in any other part of, of beyond Goa. Sajwan, I'm sure many have already taken a dip in the wells. I don't know whether the wells are full or not, but they have taken a dip. It's a 
festival introduced by the Portuguese in our culture. And the government banks upon it, advertises in all kinds of media forms. Come, tourists come to Goa, celebrate the <coughs> Portuguese festival, they are calling them. Much before the arrival of the Portuguese, our indigenous communities celebrated Zagor, which means to be awake, to be in vision. All the participants and the villagers stay awake throughout the night to worship the gods, spirits of ancestors that protect the village. Zagor is a Hindu theater usually celebrated in the temples. For various historical reasons, which I've explained in my article, it was wrapped up in many years of silence, although the performers continued to celebrate it secretly. It surfaced again in mid 18th century. The Zagor is a distinctive feature of the indigenous Gauri community who converted to Christianity in the 17th century and to Hinduism in the 20th century. The Zagor has three parts. The first is the prayer where the Gauri community continue to pay homage to the Catholic saints that their grandparents worshipped. The second part of the, is the Naman or praise dedicated to the gods of the Hindu pantheon. At the end of the Naman, where everybody waits, and I also was waiting, is the entertainment part. The actors are fishable, when they or they sweep us off our panting roads. They don't have a formal education. Neither they have attended any school of drama, but their performance is purely inborn, enjoyable. I'm going to just share with you when I went for that festival, we were invited to have dinner at one of the houses of the Fisherfolks. And when I entered, I saw against the wall at the entrance a platform of wood, and over there there were images of St. Anthony, of St. Francis Xavier, of Our Lady of Miracles of uh, Mafsa and the uh, uh, Christ and continued with the images of the Hindu gods. And I asked the, 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 the woman who is invited and I said, how come your Hindus law by? He says, we always respect what our grandfathers had respected and we continue that till today. The last chapter of my book deals with Lada English in Goa. I was very inquisitive about the origin of Lada English and I have informed the readers about its journey to our Catholic Church. Most of us have something either in Latin, in Golden or in English. And we know that there are some either near the crosses which are scattered all over our landscape of Goa or within the four walls of homes. I will again stop here to tell you that every year, till 2019 or 20 when the COVID came, we used to sing Lada English at home and it was a very large affair. A large family that I have, they used to come, friends from uh, wherever they are, extended family, friends from abroad, everybody used to come. I used to choose a day in December because most of the people used to come in December. And everybody used to sing, and my sister-in-laws who are there, they are witnesses that they also participated. So they used to, they used to sing in Latin, and continue with saying the prayers in Konkani, and it was a great spiritual ritual. The villagers whom I met during my investigation and participation have become my new friends. Like before Zagor, Suryakant will call me, Madam, I'm so Zagor, I tell you, sir. Isronaka, yo, Aminata Duna. Ain Sanga, Jona Gyom. Such and like that for other festivals. Such simple people, but rich in affection. Somebody is always there within us, 
Mr. Rosario, Dr. Rosario, always, if you're only asking to help you, he is always going to walk in with you. Thank you. Dr. Pawan, Director of the 